How's it going guys? Vlad here and today's video was actually inspired by an EEV blog uh, post. Uh, so it was an overview of the Texas Instruments launch pad so I decided to get my hands on uh, one of these modules and take a look at what they're all about. See if I can make some tutorials and or projects happen with them. So in the kit that I've received, I got the board itself, I got the uh, extendable Ethernet cable, and I got a um, cable in order to connect the power to the launch pad so it's not uh, power over Ethernet. This cable is pretty cool though, so extendable Ethernet cable. Uh, I had to also get a uh, switch, so I have an 8 port TrendNet switch that I picked up from Amazon for about 10 bucks because I don't, my router is very far and I had to, I would have had to pull an extra wire which I didn't want to do. So two, burns, two birds, one stone, I can play with the launch pad and use the switch for other um, Ethernet connected devices. So. Without any further delay, let's get started and see uh, if we can get online with this module. So here's the quick start guide that you're going to get inside of your box, which explains uh, pretty much how to get started with the launch pad. So as you can see, it um, reiterates what's in the box, the quick start guide, micro USB cable, the Ethernet cable, and the launch pad module itself. So we, if we scroll down through the start guide we can see some of the inputs and outputs laid out and you're also going to get a let's get started uh, paragraph so one of the first things you want to do is go to the ti.exosite.com uh, make sure you create an account on there and that you register uh, essentially you set up your device and you get connected to it second of all you're going to connect the actual hardware and you're going to be um, launching the demo application that uh, comes preloaded on your kit so you should be able to uh, do a couple of uh, neat things uh, straight out of the box so let's take a look at connecting to everything as you can see my uh, launch pad is already connected but if yours is not all you have to do is follow the four steps outlined right here so you will click here to add a new device you're going to select your actual device so in my case it is a TM4C connected launch pad as you can see they make it really simple for anyone to get started with this device click on continue the MAC address is going to be labeled on your device as you can see they show it very explicitly so where is the MAC address device name that doesn't matter that's just something for you to know uh, what you connected and this GPS coordinates is an optional step click continue and this de device should appear in your uh, home page obviously it's not going to be active uh, before you plug it in and give it power correctly so let's take a look at uh, what the device actually does so I'm going to do a couple of things. Uh, first of all, connect my launch pad to the USB port. Make sure to connect to the debug port and not uh, over here, as it is the same jacks. I'm going to also connect the Ethernet port, which is going back to the uh, switch that I've installed. A couple of things you're going to notice. First of all, you have a power LED. So this is not a power over Ethernet device, and you do need to connect this USB cable. Uh, you're also going to have an indication for the um, connection and an indication for the signals uh, actually being sent back to the uh, Texas Instrument Service uh, server. So once you're online with the device and you can view it through your uh, web browser, you can play with the demo software and do things like um, toggle the two LEDs over here. So it's it sometimes has a delay, uh, I'm not sure why it is so. Um, so sometimes you have to kind of reset the connection and make sure that the, the, device, the status of the device is actually online. So sometimes it doesn't register if you plug in the Ethernet cable after. So let me just try this one more time. So I'm trying to turn on, there we go. 
So the LED D1 is currently on and this is toggled through your web interface which I'm going to be showing uh, right after. So LED 2, I can turn both of them off. Uh, one thing you also have in the demo software is the number of clicks on these two push buttons. So you, uh, well, the demo software counts how many clicks uh, you do. You also have the temperature of the chip. So if you put your finger on there and hold it long enough, you would be able to see an increase um, in the temperature of the junction. So let's take a look at the web interface and uh, see what you can do with the um, preloaded software. So as you can see, I'm back on the uh, web interface. A couple of things you're going to notice. Um, obviously the name of your launchpad. Uh, the status is online. Uh, the number of uh, the time since the last reset or the last connection to the launchpad, the junction temperature, the button pushes, you have a graph for the junction temperature, and both of the toggles for the LEDs. So as you can see, if I push LED D1 on, it may take a few seconds, but it does turn on the LED, LED D2. It should come on in just a second. There we go. Turn both of them off. There we go, and let's take a look at the button presses. One, two, three, four, five. So give it a second, and there you go. As you can see, it has updated the number uh, to nine. Let's press the other one two times. Um, so I'm not sure what kind of debouncing is on there, but it's it seems to be pretty reliable. Uh, the junction temperature is not that responsive from what I've uh, seen, so I'm not going to be playing with that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all you get. Uh, you can set up an alert email also, uh, but that's, um, yeah, that's pretty much all you get with the uh, basic software. So, I mean, the value of this thing is absolutely incredible. For $20, you're getting a kit which is uh, able of Ethernet connectivity. It has multiple IOs. It has analog capability. I mean, it's just it's just amazing it's you're paying less than an arduino ethernet shield and that that's just incredible for me so looking forward to creating some more tutorials and obviously showcasing some of the capabilities of the launchpad uh, i need to dive into it myself uh, get code composer installed and uh, yeah take a look at some of the first of all the examples the tutorials and then hopefully create some content of my own so stay tuned and let me know if you want to see some projects if you want to see some more um, ethernet connectivity things if you're actually working on something yourself and uh, yeah thank you for watching bye